Hey, this is Chest High Walls. I thought I'd make a video on uh, setting up game pads for Final Fantasy XIV. Um, this is something that uh, I have a lot of company mates who are playing on the PS4, and um, I'm just here to share how I've set up my game pad. And I actually am doing this on a PC, but I use the same game setup for my PC and my PS4, so I basically make them identical. Um, so. For the first off, first things first is this is the first part of two, which is this is just going to be about how my bars are set up, and the second one is going to be about targeting because targeting is just as important, if not more important, than how you have your bars set up on this game, or on your PS4 or on a gamepad because gamepad targeting can be very 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 tricky when you're first starting out. So I'll set I'll make a video entirely dedicated to that to that uh, part of uh, setting up a gamepad. So. For, um, first thing is first is how I have my uh, character configuration. Um, display, uh, we're up right here, we're on hotbar settings, and display is actually mainly for hotbars for PC. So you don't really mess with this too often. You can set up your pet hotbar display. I've got display only the crossbar, and uh, automatically replace cross hotbar 1 with pet hotbar when mounted. Um, I don't think this comes too much into play, but this, these three are actually really important. So sharing is important. So first things first is what you want to do is you want to have um, at least three hotbars where you're not sharing. Those are specific for whatever class that you're playing, which means whenever you're setting up these hotbars in these three specific hotbars, they will be they will not share between classes. So let I'll show you what I mean. So. So this is hotbar one, okay? So let's let's see if I change. So let's see what happens when I change. So I'll change to samurai. Hotbar one, completely different. And I'll change to monk. Hotbar one, completely different, okay? But the hotbar four is the same no matter what. Hotbar four. Hotbar four. It's the same no matter what. It's a shared bar. So that's what sharing means on your bars. Um, so when you have a gamepad, you're going to want to be using the cross hotbars. These aren't all that important because these are your like line hotbars for like PC. So you're going to be wanting to mess with the cross hotbars if you're using a gamepad. Uh, same kind of thing. First three I always have is not shared, so I can set those up for each particular class. And then the four, five, six, seven, and eight I have as shared. Uh, four is just basic. It's always going to be what I have um, just set up like this. Like I got my teleport, I got my return, I got my mounts, I got some of my logs and my character, and I got like my sprint, and I've got like a wave, a bow, and a sit. So those are the ones I use. And uh, that's not okay. So and for three and two, those are all. These are all specific to like, mechanic or machinist. Okay, so five, six, seven, and eight are all shared. These are uh, seven and eight are basically my uh, my crafting and my my fighting classes. So I've got those on dials in case I need them. Uh, six is just emotes, just some of the ones I use. Five is uh, I use macros for this one. I've just got some basic macros on here for like talking, for like recruiting and stuff like that. Four is my regular one, and then we're getting to the non-shared ones, which is just which is. Uh, class specific. Okay, so now that shared's done, you guys know what shared means. Let's go to cross. So the cross is where you're going to want to be because you're going to be using game pads. So, um, what I have here, this actually took me several hours to set up. Um, what I have here is, uh, you know, when I enable crossbar, hotbar, you're going to have that set up anyway on PS4 anyway. So, um, I have all these set up. Um, I have cross hotbar controls where you hold it or you toggle it. Toggling can get Toggling and mixed can be confusing. I always have hold, it feels easier for me. Um, cross hotbar display type, D-pad buttons, that's what I have, it's personal preference. Um, always display uh, WXHB. The WXHB are these right here, these side ones right here. And I'll show you with those when we get to custom. Um, so I have always set display them. And then these positions, I've experimented with these, they're a little wonky, I'm not quite sure what they are, but I just have always set display WH, WXHB. Okay, so now for the really complicated stuff, the custom. 
because this is where you customize it. Okay, so in order to make every ability that you have available to you on the fly, you're going to want to be able to expand your hotbars and use the WXHB hotbars. So, um, for the expanded hotbars, the LT and RT. So what that means is you hold L1, or I'm sorry, L2 or, or R2, and then you hold the next one. So this one goes to crossbow hotbar to left. And I'll show you. Okay, so cross hot bar two left. See that? This is cross hot. This is cross hot bar two, and then holding left first and then right will bring over to the left side. And you can access this at any time, no matter what bar you're on, by just holding the left and then the right at the same at the same time. Left first, then right, and then right first, then left, and you'll get the second side or the right side of hot bar two. Again, you can do this at any on any of them. So when you're combat. When you're fighting, and you want to use your flamethrower, I can just switch to that and do that. So yeah, very convenient. It makes uh, cross hot bars like that's probably the one of the single most important things about the cross hot bars on the gamepad that makes it viable over a um, over a keyboard. Uh, again, keyboard's just as viable. I'm just saying, like it can compete with a keyboard because you have that amount of customization. Now, the WXHB is cross hop bar three left and cross hop bar three right. And what that is is just a double tap. So you just double tap left, and then it comes to the left. Double tap right, and it goes up to the right. Double tap left. Do that. Double tap left, and it gets that. Okay. So that's basically that. Um, you can, when you customize these, you have to choose. This is up to personal preference, but I found it's just really simple and easy if you just do as I set up. So, one, two, three are your specifics, and make it to where that you can cross hop bar those with expanded, and then cross hop bar those with the with the double taps for for cross hop bar three. So, if you guys want to emulate this, it's really convenient. I use it; it's super easy to use. Okay, so now this is where things get really complicated. In fact, this took me several hours to figure out. What I have set up here is that while my gun of my weapon is drawn, it goes to my combat bar. And when I have it sheathed, it goes to my cross hop bar four, where which is just my basic whatever, just like my mounts and my sprinting. Okay, so when you draw it, it comes up as my my cross hop bar one with all my abilities. And when I have it sheathed, it's just regular stuff. This was not easy to set up. It was not. It took me a long time. So I'm going to save you guys a lot of time and go over it. Okay, so you just click on Enable Hotbar, Auto Hotbar Switching when Drawing and Sheathing Weapons. That's the first thing. Okay, so Enable Customization for when Weapon is Sheathed. Now, okay, so what these are is that uh, basically it gets, com it gets complicated. So, in order to save you guys a whole lot of time and effort, just have it set up like this. If you want to emulate what I'm doing on my bars. Um, when you turn these off, it no longer lets you switch switch bars when you switch and sheath when you draw and sheath. I don't know why, it's just the way it is. So now it does it now. This is how you set it up. I can't explain it. It's very complicated. I figured it out a while back. Just have it set up like this, and you'll be able to do what I'm doing. Uh, that's a personal preference thing, though. I can understand why people might not want to do that. Um, but uh, but yeah, this is how you do it. It's really convenient for me. Um, so you guys, you know, personal preference. Okay. So now, how to set up the hot bars to where it fits every class? Basically, I know where all my stuff are is to a certain degree, to a certain degree, before even, like, I can switch classes and know where things are, and it's not about memorizing, it's about trends in your bars, and this is really important if you're going to be doing a whole lot of classes like I do. Okay, so, so let's start easy. Monk and Dragoon. Monk and Dragoon, two melee classes. Now, you know what, let's not do Monk and Dragoon, let's do, let's do, um, Warrior and Paladin. 
Warrior and Paladin. Oh, I don't even have a shield. Shield on me. Oh, I don't have a shield. Okay, uh, Warrior and Dark Knight. <laughs> okay, Warrior and Dark Knight. Okay, so. I know where everything is on both of these classes. And it's not because I'm super good at memorizing. It's because of how I have my bar set up. So, my weapon classes are on, or my weapon skills are on my R2, and then my my XY, XY circle, my face buttons, basically, not the directional buttons. My circle is my, is my, uh, my AoE threat, and that's the same on both Paladin and Warrior 2. Uh, my weapon skills are X, Y, and A on my on my uh, gamepad, or you can be square, triangle, and X on your PS4. And that's what how it is on all of my on all of my tanks. I'll show you. See, butcher's block or heavy swing, skull slender, butcher's block. They're the same buttons. So I know where they are even when I switch classes. And basically I have my main enmity rotation on my R2 face buttons, and I have my DPS rotation on my L2 face buttons. So that's just weapon skills. When it comes to like buffs and things like that, I usually keep my buffs on I usually keep my, my AoE abilities on let's see I've got that. I got I usually keep my AoE abilities on R2 directional pad. So I got Steel Cyclone right here. You know. The Steel Cyclone right here. Um, some of these are not trends. Like I, I have just happen to have Equilibrium right here. It's just the way it is. I have most of my um, buffs on. All my buffs are on my D-pad. Um, some of the ones I don't use as much, like Home Gang, I have on the WXHB. Now I have all of my. Um, Roll abilities on R2, hold L2. So I've got Rampart. I've got uh, I've got Tomahawk on the, on Y. I've got Anticipation, Provoke, Convalescence, some of the other ones. See, it's very similar to this in my Dark Knight and my Paladin. Again, it's not because of memorization. It's just because I have them similarly set up, and that goes for every class. Just similarly set up all of your abilities to all of the. All of the um, classes on your on your cross hop bar, and you'll very rarely get like, oh, where's my abilities? Like, you'll, you'll very rarely get confused. Um, that's what I've done with all my classes, and uh, it gets to the point where, like, if you do it well enough, you could probably play any of the classes without even looking at the hop bars. Like, it's 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 a very convenient way of doing things, and it's the way that I found it works for me, especially when I'm juggling so many different classes at so many different times. Um, so this basically concludes uh, the first part of this uh, this uh, gamepad series. Um, the next the next uh, video is going to be about targeting. I'm keeping these videos pretty bite sized. Um, the next video is going to be about targeting, and it's very very important. And it's going to probably be a little bit longer, um, but I hope this has helped, and I hope that uh, the next video will help. And uh, tune in, and I'll keep making more of these. So you guys keep using them. So thanks a lot.